Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN News Video Web and for the Travel Suite. We're getting ready for the Cannes Film Festival and today we're here with Karen Goldfarb and she's got a new short film called Here's Looking At You Kid which is going to be available at the Cannes Short Film Corner um, May 21st through the 26th. Karen, welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. Nice to meet you. Yes, and I'm really excited to hear that you're going to the Cannes Film Festival. Is this your first time? This is my first time. I'm completely thrilled and excited. And your new film right here is looking at you, kid. It reminds me kind of about Casablanca. How did this come about? Exactly. Um, what it is, is it's a spoof of Casablanca. It's a short spoof that came out of a, a screenplay contest, which was to take a well-known love story and give it a twist. So I thought of Casablanca and took it from there. Oh my gosh! And okay. I gave it a twist. <laughs> how how <laughs> much did you twist it? Sorry. Oh, how much did you twist it? I really twisted it a lot. Is it... I don't want to tell you what I did because I want everyone to see the film. Of course. Well, because it's also a short film. Is it exactly. in black and white, or did you twist it to color? Black and white, and the very end with the twist is in color. <laughs> Ooh, I think that was part <laughs> of like it. That. Now, on yeah. on this, have you always wanted to be a filmmaker, or have you been doing this for a while? I always wanted to be a filmmaker. It was a dream that I kind of gave up on. I had, um, I'd been to film school. I, I was a cinema studies major, but I always dreamed of being a director, but I didn't really believe I could do it. And then one day, after I won this short screenplay contest for this script, I was looking at the script and I said, gosh, I wish um, someone could do this script, but I don't think anyone will. And then I just decided to, to go for it. And I posted um, something on our film website saying I was in pre-production and I was flooded with people who wanted to be involved with it. So that's how it happened. Oh, congratulations. What was your biggest challenges as a new filmmaker? Uh, my biggest challenge was I underestimated the technical demands of film and the financial demands. Like, I somehow imagined making a film it would be easy with a few video cameras, and then as I, the deeper I got into it, people were saying, who's your director, or your DP, who is your production designer, who is doing this, who is doing that, and I realized, wow, if I want to make a real film, it's going to cost a lot more than I expected, and it's going to take a lot more. So. It was an incredible learning curve, but I, I did all of it. I um, I produced it, I directed, and I, I hired great technical, technical people to do that stuff, so I was very lucky. And I got great actors who worked for me, and so it worked out great. Oh, that is awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it. Now, for you, I'm, I'm curious, did, how long did this take you from beginning to end? Like, from when you first started, like, thinking about you know, doing the screenplay till actually you finished filming it. Well, oh, actually finished was, filming uh, it and it was ready to go. Because it was for a contest. But um, after that, when I decided to do the film, uh, about three months from the time I posted it to we um, the casting, and then we filmed. I posted it in June and we filmed it in in August over a two day two day period. And then the editing process took a lot longer, but that's how it went. Well, you know, you you have a model for a lot of people. If a lot of filmmakers could do it that fast, you have lots of lots of inspiration for many. Yeah, you know, I what I did was because I knew that since um, I'd never done this before, I set myself a commitment that I had to do it no matter what, and I set a firm deadline that we had to shoot on certain dates. So that made it really intense in terms of getting ready. But the commitment saw me through, and and I think that's what any new filmmaker needs or um, is to make the commitment to themselves to do it and just go for it. Mm, that's actually really inspiring. Now, as far as pre um, preparation beforehand, you might have had a little extra edge because haven't you been able to talk with a few directors and entertainment people beforehand? I have. Um, I was very lucky when I, I was a, a journalist with Reuters News Service. Um, I was able to interview some amazing directors. Um, some of them were um, the Polish director, Krzysztof Kieslowski, and um, Marcella Fultz, who did The Sorrow and the Pity, and Andrzej Konchalowski, a Russian director, and, and um, Diane Curie, who was a really neat um, French 
director who also inspired me. So I, 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 I was able to talk with these people and learn about their processes and see that it was possible to do. And then somehow it stayed in my mind many years later when I, when I did it myself. That is fabulous. Was, do you, is there one tip in mind that they gave you that you remember? Um, you know, when I, when I, nobody ever gave me a tip in terms of doing it, but it, what, what they really basically said was just you just have to do it. And that's what I want to convey to other people, too, that there is really no one way. And it, it, you don't have to go to film school because now there's, the world is a film school. There's so many people to talk to. There's so much stuff online. And I think the film community is so generous with with information that there's just no one way but i i think the people who are most successful have a vision and they and they hold to it as kieslowski or um godard or um any of these other people that are so amazing that are you know on uh, we're on the world stage so i think having a vision and going for it and staying with it is important well congratulations you're making it to can and if people would like Thank to find you. out more information about where to catch up with you and find out more about your film and how to reach you, where do they go? I think the best thing to do is just go to the IMDB site. Which here's looking at you, kid, and it will have information. Um, the trailer will be there soon, I hope, and um, other premiere dates and festival information, and, and they'll be able to eventually see it online after con, of course, but not before. Okay, that is great. And um, is there a way they can reach you also on social media? I am on Facebook, and um, there is a um, there's a site um, on Facebook here, a page here looking at you, kid, which I would love if you could like it. That would be wonderful. And I'm on Twitter as well, at Karen Goldfarb. Well, Karen, congratulations, and here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid, Joyce. Hope to see you in con. Look forward to it. Bye. All right. Thanks for